you know, I always encourage people to download my videos, share my videos. I don't mind if you make money, like advertising, etc. That's not, not the problem for me. Yes, Bartan, how are you? Yes, how are you, my friend? Explain to us what, do, what Allah means that may Allah forgive your sin. Yeah, may Allah forgive you. Hmm. Allah hmm. Means hmm. in the tafsir that He will surely forgive you. Oh, so it is sure He will forgive, but He says, May. Yes, and this means. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you saying to me in the no, tafsir they are correcting it? Why Allah don't say Allah forgive your sin? Why He saying may? You are already. My friend, I'm not, can, uh, uh, you can call wait, me names wait, as you wait. wish. Uh, you need to explain to me why He is saying may. Wait. wait a minute. Wait. A minute. Hmm. Let's 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 debate uh, uh, over another topic. First no, all, no. Bef before, before we change our topic, topic, before we, my friend, why you want to change topic? Just wait. Why Allah says yes. may? If is He sure or He's asking another Allah? No, no, of course not. Okay, so why He is saying may? What is the point of the word may? This means in a tafsir. You need, you know, so, tafsir, okay. So you are saying to me, that, okay, you are saying tafsir. to me in tafsir, it, 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 okay, it, it, let us make it clear now. You are saying to me that the tafsir is better, the book of tafsir is more clear than the book of Allah. Your Allah is made, you can make a mistake using the wrong word, and the no, tafsir is trying to correct Allah, Allah and says, No, he did not mean me, it's meant to say, I forgive you. So why he used me? Is that a, a, a mistake? Okay, look, 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 look. First of all, you want to debate about for issues now. Yes. I'm not debate debating what for what for don't, don't, don't you know don't uh, Abdul listen. I, I'm asking you a simple question. Why Allah use me? Is that a wrong? Is that a mistake? Let's debate. Let's debate. Mm. Let's debate. Oh, some other issues. Let's debate why. Why? Why you want to change? Why you want to try? Is, is that embarrassing that your Allah He says me? No, no. I tell. I okay. You when you don't okay. Let me ask you. How many times in the Quran Allah He used the same word? Maybe. Maybe. Wow. Perhaps. Wow. Why He says that? Is your God Allah? Is your God Allah? Is God or he do not, he's not sure? Look, look, let's debate. Look, look, I'm, I, we are debating, my friend. We are talking about the same topic. You called me to speak about this topic. You told me you do not understand, right? Okay, so I'm asking you, why Allah, why Allah, he keeps saying, uh, maybe, perhaps, why? Hmm? Yeah. Chapter 4, verse number 99, it says, maybe Allah, maybe Allah will forgive them. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? You what know that what does that mean? May Allah, maybe Allah that will forgive them. Read for me. Read. Don't don't change topic. How Allah is the one is talking and he say maybe Allah will forgive them, please. How come? Okay. How come? How come that in the Bible God is like uh, in, see, in the, when he created the earth? You see, you, 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 want, you want to change topic? That he was that he that he that he that he that it says that he is like embarrassed that the people uh, it hurts him that the people make sense. How come? You, you know, look, okay, you see, you it. see, uh, uh, God is answer you. Okay, are you going to keep talking? The Muslims they go in the panic. The second they go to talk to me, the only way, oh, the only way to avoid the problem is to keep talking, and they allow me to talk. So, are we going to talk both me and you, or just to you? Look, 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 look. What kind of oh, yeah. God he say it may be because Allah they, will forgive you read it with me this is a different verse what kind of God he says it may be Allah will forgive you do he knew the future do he knew the past is he is God who is the one is talking there okay okay why didn't Jesus know when the hour comes when if he no comes? he knew the same chapter he said it's new no read the holy chapter he said it's you he did he tell you when it happened he tell you when it's going to happen or what jesus is saying that that the hour is not uh, hold on you know we don't believe hold on you don't explain to me my bible i don't explain to you your quran i show you reference from your books right i don't i, I, don't, I don't give you okay no problem the same the same the same chapter uh, when when the sun is when the moon is darkened the sun doesn't show etc when the person he uh, uh, one in the field the other one is in sleep the blood, uh, uh, all, all of this description of the judgment day when all those things happen the judgment day will come so jesus he knew same time listen 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 abdul listen 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 in the bible is not is not an hour it's a preset hour hold on hold on we as uh, let me explain to you hold on do you want to answer or not do you want me to answer or not? Do you want me to answer or not? 
uh, not answering my question. I am I answering your question. You ask me how come Jesus do not know either. You let me answer or you shut up. Okay, then tell me. <laughs> so now you want to change the topic okay here we go we change the topic what is the topic now I'm asking you I answer you my question you don't want to listen to me I'm asking you what kind of God of Allah he is he keeps saying it may be that Allah will burden you what does that mean how it may be yeah Habibi. look you didn't and you didn't don't tell me look answer me what kind of God he keeps saying maybe maybe Allah will forgive you what does that mean he's not sure Maybe Allah hmm? says maybe I will what, forgive you. Okay, what, what he mean that in chapter 7 verse 190, 129 that maybe Allah will destroy your enemy. What does that mean? He's not sure? That it was sure. He destroyed So how he says maybe? Him. Why he's saying maybe then? Yeah, have you, this because at that point he's not sure. Yeah, this, this is this is a statement by, by Muhammad. No, this, this is a statement by but, made by Muhammad, the, the proving that the cannot be God. Because if uh, if Allah is sure, he will say, I destroy your enemy. Here he said maybe he's not sure. Christian, I have a question for you. <laughs> no, don't change the topic. What kind of God he say maybe? Let me ask you, when your God Allah he keeps saying maybe, is that because this is a statement made by Muhammad or because your God he liked the word maybe and is attached to it? Christian, let me talk, let me huh? any, let me let me let me uh, I'm asking you, okay, chapter 17, oh. verse number 79. Why Allah is saying to Muhammad, maybe Allah will give you a, a, a rice place in heaven. Why he's saying to him maybe? Yeah, Habibi. Don't tell me Habibi, I'm not I'm not a game, my friend. Don't tell me Habibi. I'm asking you why why you say why your God saying to Muhammad, maybe Allah will give you a good place in heaven. What does that mean? Maybe maybe means surely. Maybe means surely since when? In which language? In which language? In which language is that? In which language is that? So in the language, not here we go. Open tafsir. So tafsir is trying to correct your God. So surely or maybe is so okay let me make it clear in the tafsir it says surely in the quran it says maybe which one is of them we will take okay let us do this so are you saying to me we should correct the quran and change maybe with surely okay means means explaining to you what the quran means mm -hmm. is is it the same as correct okay how how the scholar come to the conclusion that maybe means sure Arabic is Arabic. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Maybe is maybe. Asa, Asa, and Yabathaka Rabbuka. Asa is Asa. Mean maybe. We hope so. I will use the same question. So you are you are trying <laughs> to take this principle on me as a Muslim? It's now take the same principle on you. How come that God in the Bible in the first chapter he is uh, saying that he was uh, like uh, he, it was heard to him he was heard that the people did sin. How come yeah, because simply this is this is, a make, this is a present that God no hold on let me answer you here we go You ask me a question you don't let me answer you see I, I ask you a question I, I I give you the time to answer and then you change the topic right away You ask me a question the second I start answering you you blah, 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 you go over me like let me answer you Absolutely. God created Absolutely. us not to commit sin This is the point God created even angel not to commit sin. This is not his will so we have a free will. So God, when He speak about that, He is sorry for us for we committed sin because this is not His will. We have a free will, not like in Islam. In Islam, you don't have a free will. Is that correct? No, it's not correct in Islam. You have free okay. Will. What if I show you? What if I show you that this is the truth? What you will do? Look. Okay. Look. Don't tell me. Look. Don't tell me. Look. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Here we go. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. A child. A child is born yesterday and he died today. He will go to heaven or to hell in Islam? A child is born yesterday and he will die today. Yes, he died today. There's many children they died like after one hour. He will go to heaven or he will do go to hell according to Islam. Allah Allah knows. Okay, what what does that mean? So he the, so you are saying to me, you are saying to me that doing sin is not a reason to go to heaven or to hell, right? It's not the sin. What? If I commit sin, I go to hell, or does not matter if I commit sin or not? It doesn't it's, that does matter. Okay, so why you are saying to me Allah knows a child who die he commit no yes. sin, he, he is one hour old or one day old. Where he will go? Yes. Where he will go? Yeah, because of this reason, many scholars said that the people uh, that the children before they reach the age of uh, Bulug, they will go to Jannah mm. to heaven automatically. The scholars no they say that who is the donkey? He said that give me his name. He go, he go. Your prophet don't agree with that. They are donkeys who says that. They are donkeys. Whoever says that, whoever says that, he is a donkey. He is not learning this from the Bible, from the Quran. He is learning this from the Bible. Read with me. Here it says that Aisha. She said, oh, "Don't tell me. Look, read with me. Read with me." The, the, the hadith in front of you. Aisha. She said 
that there's a happiness for a child who is an infant he just died he is a son of the ansar they are muslims muslim muslim like your prophet so he is die and they went to his funeral and Aisha she said there is a happiness will be for this child and muhammad he says well, no the, it might be the otherwise but he might go to hell why because allah created people for hell before he is they are born so muhammad saying a child who is born yesterday die after one hour he might go to hell why look don't tell me look all, answer I, me. I told to you i told let me answer you mm. Mm, allah first of all i said to you some or many scholars said that all children will go to jannah according to and what this, is that according to islam yeah. Is that according many, to Islam? Many, because of the hadith that uh, when Prophet ﷺ, when he go to uh, Isra wa Mi'raj, that he saw Ibrahim and around him were children. Okay, mm -hmm. and these were the children he were dying. And other scholars, other scholars say the people of the Mushrikeen will go to Jahannam. Or, no, no, not Jahannam, sorry. They will be tested on the day, day of resurrection. And it can be because of this. My hadith. friend, this is a question. Uh, hold on, you see, hold on, hold on. You're a prophet in front of us. Don't tell me scholar, don't tell me, etc. The hadith in front of you. A child, he is born yesterday, he died today. We went to his funeral. Yes. Aisha, she said, he will be a bird from paradise. Muhammad, he don't agree. He said it might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. What do you say of that? Uh, I say he will be tested on the day of How he can be tested, my friend? He's dead. He's a child. He's a baby. He will be tested on the What does that mean? You will put him in the table. You will put a, a scan on, over his body. He's a, he's a baby. He will be he will be made uh, okay uh, show me the hadith show me the hadith it says that you will be in the judgment day Allah will make you a man and he will test you show me that hadith do you have it do you have something we have some principles no and don't tell me principle principles. don't tell me this garbage you have to show me something against this you have to show me that when you go in the judgment day Allah will make you a man and will test you don't give me this garbage I show you a hadith Fight me with the same. Fight me with the same. Show me that your prophet said yes. He's he died as a child. As you see, my friend, just to show you how stupid what you just said to me. Let me show you how stupid what you just said to me. Your prophet he said that Allah created you for hell when you are in the backbone of your father. I have nothing to do with testing later. Do you see it? Yeah, 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 yes. Okay, so you are before you are born. He decide where you will go. Yes. Okay. So what testing is about? This is stupid. How he is decide where you will go, and you are saying to me he will be tested. The child he never commits sin. The so child he never do anything. Me, so you want to say to me that you don't believe that God knows before he created. Thank you very much. So this is not about knowing. This is not about knowing. This is Allah. He says Allah. He does. He decides. Don't you believe in the Qadar? Look. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me get you busted easier. Hold on. 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 Let me get. Let me get. Let me get you busted uh, uh, easier. Do you know? Do you? Oh. Oh. Hold on. I, I did not finish, my friend. I will give you the mic. Honestly, I will give you the mic. Just wait. You're a prophet, he said, that you, a person, of course, a Muslim, I will, I will, I will, my I will. friend, hold on, we are not done, please, oh, don't, don't. First of all, you didn't, you didn't answer my question. I am you answering your question, let us, let us finish, please. This I is the question I'm answering you, you. you. please, don't, don't change the topic. Don't give me the to take some, to give you some okay, questions. Listen, like, 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 listen. Okay. Uh, Adam, Adam, did Adam create sin because he he was he was a bad person, or because Allah He made a destiny for him? Adam, Adam created created sin because he made a mistake. Khalas. Okay, but isn't it Allah who decides for him the sin he will do? Yeah, isn't isn't Jesus according to your interpretation the one who who decides what the people will do, or is no, the doing of no, the people no, in control of no us? no no we don't believe in that we believe in a free will. Don't, hold on, hold don't, on. Don't change the topic. You can show me whatever you want. Here we go. This is Adam having a debate yeah. with Moses. Yeah. I don't know how they met, but your your prophet he saw a lot of allusion stuff. Read with me carefully. Read the hadith, please. Read the hadith. Who is the one who made Adam sin? It was Adam sin. You said to me. You said to me Adam made a mistake. Do. You said to me, he you, to your you said to me, Adam, he made a mistake, and this is a big fat lie because according to your prophet, Adam, he was a victim of your God. Read carefully with me the hadith. We know the hadith, read it. Go ahead, you, you can see it. Go ahead, you know, you know Arabic, you know English. Go ahead, read it. Read it. Moses said to him, uh, Why did you do it? And he said to it, uh, to him, uh, Allah, no, Allah had uh, that was the what you called in English, what? Uh, the, 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 the Qadr of Allah. Okay, what is the color of Allah? Explain to us what does that mean? So Adam and Moses, why you don't read it? Why you don't why, why do you want to read it all of it? What is that what does that mean? Why you don't uh, want to read it? Why say, what the say, problem? I want you I want you please, I want you to do me a favor, read it for us, please. Yeah. <laughs> read it. Christian, look, 
Please, no, don't tell me, look, please read it. I want you to read it. Please, I insist, I insist. I like to hear your prophet words. It's amazing. He's, he's wise. Read it for us. Are you are you ashamed? Are you ashamed of your prophet saying that? I'm reading it, Habibi. Okay, go ahead. The Prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, Yeah, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and uh, turned us out of paradise. And Adam said to him, Yeah, Moses, Allah uh, favored you this uh, with this with his talk, talk to you uh, directly, and he wrote the Torah for you with his own hand. Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam confuted <laughs> Moses, Adam confuted Moses, the prophet was <laughs> So what does that mean? You know what? We cannot blame Adam for his sin. You told me that this is the sin of Adam, but the fact is not the sin of Adam. Allah, he wrote his sin. You can't blame me for that. It's very clear. And you're, you're a prophet. He repeat that three times as usual. You know, he's a Trinity yeah. guy. So you yeah. cannot blame Adam for his sin. Ad Moses is blaming Adam for his sin. He said to him, before, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, he said to him, this is stupid. It's not my fault. It's the fault of Allah. What do you say? <coughs> because you know this principle of law al mahfur. You know this? My friend, Islam? my friend, how how you say to me it's a mistake of Adam when it says this is Allah, Allah, he wrote his faith 40 years no. before his creation no. and he have no nothing to blame. Christian, Christian, you don't believe that uh, you believe, you don't believe in Qadr? You don't believe no, we Allah. don't believe. No, we don't believe in such a thing. We believe the, the destiny we believe in as a Christians that we are born to die. This is because of sin, and the rest we, are, we have a free will. Like we are born, so we are born, believe? which means there's this there's, there's something we can't choose or refuse, which is death. Okay. 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 Now we have we now don't change the topic. Your Adam, he did That's commit true. sin because That's Allah true. he wrote his sin for him as fate, uh, as destiny. 40 years okay. before his creation. So why you said to me it was the mistake of Adam when this is the mistake of Allah? So you want to tell me that your God you believe in doesn't know what people will do in this future? This is not about, not about knowing. Don't change the topic. This is have nothing to do with knowing. This is have nothing no, to do with knowing. Read you, with me carefully. Read with me carefully. Don't be stupid now. Don't play games. Be honest. It says, do you blame me? It says, do you blame me for something written for my fate? My fate. 40 years before my creation so you can't blame me if God knows or not still we can still, listen listen don't, I don't like liars I don't like liars be, or, be honest with me please I, okay I am asking you does it say there does it say there this is about Allah knowing or this is Allah about writing his faith you are lying we are having who is lying my friend Allah Allah he wrote his faith Adam saying you cannot blame me what does that mean what do you mean you cannot blame me explain to me why he said why he said you can't blame me You're what? lying like this. Why he said, my friend, why he said you cannot blame me? It is like, any I told you, mm. I told you. Yeah. This is, this is, uh, when uh, when Musa asked Adam, why mm. did you do it? Mm. Now says, any, don't blame me for something what what uh, was written. Uh -huh. And like the motto, mm. like the motto, on your own things, mm. and don't tell me. These things, yes? really, really, really. Okay. Well, what own things? My things, you know. Ada uh, Musa's he's saying it's you because if you are out of heaven, <laughs> so he's saying to him, Do you blame me? It's mean you cannot blame me for something Allah wrote for me. So stop lying, my friend. It's so clear. Allah wrote this okay. For the people that okay, hold on, hold on. You see, I like you. I like when Muslim they play they play games. Let us see how you can escape this one. Okay, okay, okay. Let us see how you will escape this one. Are you going to escape this one too? Listen, listen to this. Your prophet said the following, and I want you to read it too. And this is Sahih Bukhari. You cannot say I don't believe in Sahih Bukhari, right? Okay. So read, read, caref read carefully, please, with me. Your prophet said it clearly that it's not what you do will take you to heaven. It's what Allah He wrote for you. Read. Read. Just like this. Read. 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 Okay. So what? It's mean you don't have a free free will. This Islam is a stupid. And by Allah, let, read with me. I, I read for you. Hold on. Hold on. I will. Don't please don't talk. Let me show respect to the Prophet. He's talking now. Please show respect. And by Allah, a person among you, please show respect, man. A person among you uh, 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 may do the deeds of people of fire till there is only one cubit, an arm breathe, breathe uh, distance between him and the fire. But then what are, that is written by Allah. Is going to proceed. Do you see it? Do you see it, my friend? Okay, you are not. You will not let me talk. You will not let me. You know, you don't respect your prophet. 
I ask you gently, I said, please, let me read it. You know this hadith? You will let me talk or not? Are you going to let me read or not? No. What do you mean no? Because I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> Why do you want to change the topic? So Islam is a stupid religion because at the end of the day, what is written by Allah will make you go to hell or to heaven. It's not what you do. Here we go. The guy is doing the work of hellfire all his life and then he's almost in hell and then what's written by Allah will take over and then the opposite. And then there's a guy who did go the deeds of, of paradise and then he's almost going to enter it. But what is written by Allah will take over and he go to hell. What kind of a stupid religion this religion is? No. <laughs> Christian, no, will you allow me to, uh, to ask you something? No, questions? don't ask me before you answer me. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. For you, let's say, let's say Islam is wrong. Let's say Islam this is not. Okay. No, no, don't change the topic. I want to show everybody how stupid this cult is. This is, a, yeah. this is garbage. Either you answer or you are ashamed of it. Explain to me how at the I'm end of the day, of let us say, according yeah. to this, according to this, Christian Prince no, no, is attacking no, Allah all his life. And then what is written by Allah will take over and Christian Prince he will go to heaven. Explain to us how this will work. No, Allah knows <laughs> what... The this is not about knowing. Don't stop being a liar. This is not about knowing. This is not about knowing. This is about faith. What Allah He wrote for you. You do something and then Allah He wrote for you something else. And then Allah He forced you to Allah is the one who decides what will, what will happen. Yeah, just, just go. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. Sorry. I'm not going to shout all night. Uh, obviously, everybody can tell you are now playing the game of lying. You keep saying Allah is knowing all. Uh, this is not about Allah is knowing. D stop being stupid. Where this is about Allah is knowing. All the hadith we showed you, Allah, he wrote the faith. The child, his faith wrote before. This is not about knowing. What knowing? Adam, he did not say Allah knows. Adam, he said, he wrote my faith. Do you blame me? You Do you blame me? So you cannot blame me. Here, as you see, a person doing the work, the deeds of hellfire, and then he go to heaven. And the one who is doing the deed of heaven, he will go to fire. Why? Because what is written by Allah will proceed. So it doesn't matter what you do. It is what written by Allah will proceed. And this is the most stupid cult ever. And this is why you want to keep talking, 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 changing topic. Always when Muslims they call me, they feel sorry for asking me the question because they cannot handle their own question. So the only way to run away is to run forward. Why you ask me the question if you don't want to uh, uh, stick with it? All the time I let you spoke to me and now I'm letting you talk. What a liar you are. Shame on you. As you see here, Muhammad, he insists that Allah, he like people who commit sin. If you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. For Allah, obviously, he is the devil. What kind of God? He will destroy us if we don't commit sin. And he will replace us with people who commit sin. And the whole point is what? Just he would like to be an echo self God. Oh, you have to ask me for forgiveness. This is a game. This God is a lonely God. He is bored. He created people to commit sin. He forced them to commit sin. And the purpose of that, he liked to see you bowing down. Please, Allah, forgive me. Allah, please, I'm sinner. Please, he enjoy it. He love it. And then we ask the guy what it does mean. He start right away changing the topic, and he say, keep saying, Allah, He knows. Allah, He knows. Allah, He knows nothing. Your God do not know even how the baby is created. Your God don't even remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars. Your God do not know how uh, 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 how the sun and the moon run. I mean, everything. What, what your God knows? I will give you one more chance. I will call you back. But don't change topic, please. And don't speak over me. I will let you talk. Anyone will make me shout lose my voice. I'm not going to talk to you. I speak for long I teach all day and then if I want to everyone he want to do that with me Then I will lose my voice after two minutes
All right. Yeah, hello, my friend. So how are you going to answer me, my friend? Go ahead. So I'm listening. First of all, first of all, hmm. first of all, will you allow me to talk or not? <laughs> See, he is the one now claiming that I am the one is not allowing him to talk. Here we go. I'm waiting for you to talk. Go ahead. Okay. I want to ask you some questions. See, he want to change topic. Here we go. He want to change topic. So you, can, you so you want to answer. You ask me to talk. So all the time, all the time I spend explaining to you is gone in the wind. So you are asking me to talk, but you will not answer. Correct? No, no. Look. So I answer will, why ask why Allah will destroy ask. us and bring people who commit sin. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. okay this hadith is clear. Allah, mm. God Almighty, mm. loves to forgive. Okay. Oh, really? God, God, let me talk. Mm. Let me talk. Mm. God Almighty loves to forgive. Mm. God Almighty, your sins that you are doing mm. by associating uh, partners with Him, mm. yes, doesn't take from His uh, might anything. Mm. Yes, and He isn't someone who wants to who waits uh, thousands of years and is angry at people uh, because he, they stole from Him something uh, when they sin. And then has to send his son and kill him brutally, mm. yes, to forgive the people their sins. Mm. But what did Abraham do when he, or for what did Abraham came? Yeah, or what did the people do before Jesus when they sinned? You see, guys, here we go. What what is uh, yeah. well, you you you, have, you are suffering from flight of thought, my friend. You said you said that Allah loved to forgive, but Allah He loved to destroy the one who commit no sin. Explain to me that part why he would destroy me if you don't commit sin I got your point that Allah love to forgive But this is very funny because he is destroying people who never commit sin first explain to us yes. that part Yes, when you don't commit anything if some people so say for example the people in London nobody commits sins. This yes. is not this is not what they it's not about what people say don't lie It says if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you. It doesn't say if they say he says Which if you, you don't commit sin don't no, don't don't lie about this hadith. There, there's, there's, he will sweep you out. If he, he sweep, what it was, what you, you what sweep you out mean? Destroying is like you have made something. What bad, sweep you out mean? You, what sweep you out mean? Huh? What sweep you out mean? That, that, that he will let you die. That does not So he will destroy you. Thank you very much. He will let you die. So why he will let? Why he will kill you? Yeah, why he will he will kill any every person no no every no those die. people no it says it clearly it says it clearly why they did not commit sin this is their guilt so according yeah. to your cult if death. i don't commit sin i am guilty yes because but death 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 is not uh, every time and that it's not every time uh, what do you call it in english uh yani, what, 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 my friend, you are funny. I want you to answer me about what I'm talking about. You, 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 you are suffering from flight of thoughts. Why I will be the sweep out of existence because I did not commit sin? What, why that became guilt? Why Allah is angry from me? He's not angry. Well, he so why, so why he want to destroy me? I said to you, letting someone die doesn't mean or someone when he's someone no it dying. says he would sweep you out of existence it's not about letting you die this is not all everybody will die he will he will sweep you out he will destroy you he will kill you all in in, in one shot this is what it says don't lie is this is not about i will wait for you to die no don't lie don't lie my friend he will sweep you out of existence interpreting this hadith and uh, saying like this hadith, your interpretation mm. is, is the interpretation. Where this is not my taken? interpretation. It says because you commit sin, Allah will sweep you out. What sweep you out mean? Sweep you out mean mm. you will die. This is what sweep you out mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me, Allah will let me die if I don't commit sin. What about the one who don't? Who, 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 oh, sorry, if I don't commit sin, what about the one who commits sin? He will die too. Yes. So, so why he will not sweep him out? Why it sweep out only for those who commit sin? If sweep, as you said, is just he will let you die. But everybody will die anyway. This is stupid of you to say. It says he will sweep you out of existence, all of you. Yeah. Yes, because the Prophet ﷺ is saying to people, if you, all of you, will uh, will not commit sin, mm. then I will sweep you out. Why? You will die. Why? Why? Yeah. What? What is the problem because. here? Why? Why Allah is angry? Why Allah is angry? We did not commit sin. Why Allah is angry? 
in this hadith that Allah is angry. Where do you get this from? Because you have, because he will destroy us, I'll replace us with different people. Why he will replace us then? That doesn't, that doesn't mean that he's angry. <laughs> why, why does it happen? <laughs> That's a good one. So he is not angry, but he will sweep the people. So let me ask you, when the Quran speak about the flood of Noah, was, was God angry from people and he sweeped them out? Yes. Or he was happy yes. with them? Yes. Mm. Yes, does it mean that every time he when he sweeps people out he has to be angry? But it, don't you think this is stupid what? of your prophet to say because now you just admitted that yeah. because they commit sin, hold on, in, in the flood of Noah, because they commit sin, God he sweep them out. Correct? Because they commit yes, okay. So now you agreed that you agreed that sweep them out is the same as the flood. So you were lying to me. He said that you, you will let them die. This is number one. Number two, if you commit sin, God will destroy you. But here is the opposite. If you don't commit sin, uh, 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 God will send a flood on you. Christian, Christian, <laughs> look, look, you don't want to understand what I'm saying. Wallahi, this is, I don't believe that you are a stupid man. Really, I don't believe this. Yes. I, I believe you're, my friend, I believe your prophet is a stupid one. I have to be well, honest with you. Your prophet is certified don't, stupid. Don't, don't blame my prophet, yes, because I, will, I can begin to blame your Paulus, yes, who, was, mm -hmm. who allowed you people to lie. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. So what? So what? Okay. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. You mentioned Paulus now, right? Why your prophet never say the bad word about Paulus? Yeah, what does it mean when he didn't say the bad? Uh, are you saying to me Paulus? that your prophet is a stupid, ignorant, and, and you know better than him? What? What this is for logic? What are you talking? I'm about? asking you. How come you know that Paulus is the one who corrupt Christianity as you claim, but your prophet do not know that? Why do you know why? Because I have in my time there is a Bible now or if an, an evangelium mm. where Paulus mm. is telling the people to lie. Maybe this wasn't at the time of Prophet there. Mm. Because the, Paulus he's he, okay, show me show me the verse. To, to, show me the verse is saying Paulus he said, I want you to lie. I want you to show me that. Everybody will laugh at you. And the same time I will show you from the Quran that you are a liar and your God is a liar and your prophet is a liar. Go ahead. Yes, yes. But, but, wait, wait, wait. Yes, yes. I will show you, Habibi. No, you're embarrassed. Show me, show me. I'm listening. Yes, you yes, can yes. search Google. <coughs> yes, yes. We will Google it. Yeah, of course. I'm not. Uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, we have the Quran. No, no problem. Mind. No problem. You have the Quran. The, Which Quran you have? You have no Quran. Nobody have a Quran. Not even single Muslim have a Quran. Yeah, 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 come, come on, you don't embarrass yourself. We will, we will go, we will go there. Hold on, yes, everybody will see. You know, now, show me, show me what Paulus he said that would teach you to lie. Yes, I will, I will show you. Do you want my help? Well, <laughs> do you want my help to tell you what you are going to say to me next? He will say to me that Paul he said, If my lies. If my lies, people they accuse him to be a liar. So he's saying to them, What kind of lies this lies is? If my lies is about glorifying God, so what is the benefit for me? So he is not saying I'm a liar. He is saying, You accuse me of lies, but if my lies is not about me, it's about glorifying God. So don't be stupid. So he allowed you to lie. Where it says he allowed us to lie, he said, They accuse him that you are a liar about God. He's, he, they are saying to him, You are a liar. They said to him, If my lies is about glorifying God, what is the lies? So he did not say that. So Muslims, you when you, when you say something, when you say something, you make you make yourself look really, really very embarrassing. And let me ask you now: Is Paulus? Uh, you are the one who quote for me. You are the one who quote for me from Tafsir. Isn't it Tafsir says that Paulus is a messenger of Allah? What does it say? Hmm? I don't. This I don't know. What if I show you? Yeah, show me. Then okay. we will look about it. And then I will call you next time again. No, don't call me next time. Now, why next time? No, I, why next why, time? Why next time? Next year? No, 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 next time. No, next year. No, next month. Right now, as we speak. Right now, as we speak, my friend. Here we go. If we go, okay. If we go and read the tafsir, which you know, uh, 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 you are a Muslim Sunni, right? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. All right. So I will show you from Muslim Sunni tafsir, so you will not say to me, I am, uh, uh, I am making things up. All right. Yes, come on. <clears throat> All right. Let us go to Tafsir and let us see what Paulus, who is he? Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, before you. You know Ibn Kathir, right? You know Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir is known to you, right? You heard of him before. 
we know Ibn Kathir. Okay, so Ibn Kathir is good for you, or he's a bad person? Of course, he's good. But that doesn't mean everything what he says is right. Oh, here we go. So now he is not uh, okay. He is uh, so he he is he is considered by you, or he is not good. Boy, what do you mean he's considered by me? Well, I'm asking you: Is he considered by you to be uh, uh, trustworthy, or he's a liar? Yes, he's trustworthy, but in his tafsir, mm -hmm. watch out. Uh -huh. In his tafsir, uh -huh. he brings some texts, and afterwards he says, "This is a lie, or this is munkar, or like what you did, uh, where he said it is mursal, and I don't believe that it is sahih, mm -hmm. but you let this out yeah, to 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 lie to your people again." Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, mursal is accepted or not, or rejected? What if I show you right now that mursal can be sahih? Uh, wallah. You know you are the wrong person because Alhamdulillah, we know uh, ilm al hadith. I am asking you right now in front of everybody is Mursa rejected? Is Mursa rejected? It's principally rejected, but with conditions. No, 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 don't tell me. Is it rejected or not? Look, yeah, yeah, Habibi. <laughs> so don't go there, my friend. You are nowhere even to get it close to me. Now let us go and see. Hold on. Let us see what, what, what Ibn Kathir he said. And by the way, it's not Ibn Kathir is saying that. This is, this is, this is from the Sahaba and the Tabi'een. So Ibn Kathir is just a reporter. Ibn Kathir never was there, never saw, never heard. He is just an idiot trying to defend the Quran. And now let us let us let us love together. Here we go. Here we go. Qala ibn Juraj, Qala ibn Juraj, and Wahab, Ibn and Sulaiman, and Shu'ayb al-Jabi. Qala kana ismu rasulain Let me talk, man. Don't make me hang up on you, please. Okay. Kana ismu rasulain al-awwalain shamoon wa yuhanna wa ismu al-thalis al-bulus wal qariya in taqiya. Do you see it? A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Qala ibn Juraish. And Wahb ibn Sulaiman. And Shaib ibn Juraish. Qala kana ismu al-riz. Al-Ulish. Talith wal. Bulus. Al-Quran. Al-Taqiyya. Yeah. So where did he did he you say to me that uh, uh, Ibn Kathir he said things and then he reject them did he reject that <coughs> Let me check this tafsir and mm. we will answer it okay okay what does that mean Let me check this tafsir and we will answer it. we will look what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean Tell me that we have to look at this full text okay yes, and then I have to my friend. What does that mean? Okay, okay, here we go. This is Tafsir al Razi. What do you say about al Razi? What do you say about al Razi? Tafsir al Razi. Qal ismu rasulain. Ismu rasulain ladina qala id in ersalna ilayhum ithnain shamuuna wa yuhanna wa ismu thalis bulus. The first two messengers, their name is Shamuun, which means Simon Peter. And the third, the second is John, Yohanna. And the third is Paul, which is in Arabic bulus. So what do you say? Right. So why you Muslims attack Paulus or Paul saying he's a liar, he is a scam, he is corrupt, and your Islamic scholar is saying that he is a messenger of Allah? No, but why, why they say he's a messenger of Allah? I don't know. You tell me. Is that your why book or my book? Is that my book? Is that my book or your book? No, that that didn't stand. He's a messenger of Allah. Don't lie. My friend, the Quran stand that the Quran says, "We are sent to them." Rasulain, what's wrong with you? The Quran saying that. Are you saying the Quran is lying? Is it the Quran says we sent to them two, and then we string them with the third? Who is the one who sent to them two? Who is the one who sent the two? No, what I said to you, I have to read. I'm asking you, no, don't tell me you have to read it right now. Why, why you want to go on and, until next year? Who is the one who sent the two? Isn't it your God, supposedly? I have to check this. Abdul, who is the one who is saying here, we have name, sent, we when we first sent to them, who is the one we? Who is the one who sent those messengers? First of all, I have to look if this. I understand you have to look, and we are looking right now. Who is the one saying we sent to them? Yes, boy, wait a minute. Who is I we? Who is we? Who is the one talking here? Is it Shaitan? Is it Jesus? Is it Allah? Is it Jibreel? Who is the one saying we sent to them two messengers and we string them with a third? La, la, la. This, this, la, la, la. This ayah, this ayah is talking about, it's not talking about Jesus. <laughs> 
my friend uh, even even your interpretation uh, saying that those are the Horiyin, the Hawarin of Jesus of Isa stop playing games and and the and the and the town is in Turkey is Antioch so stop being a liar those are the message of Jesus and now the Quran saying we send those messengers now I'm asking you who is the one saying we this ayah is not talking about Isa my friend, I forget about Isa now. Who is we? Who is the one who sent those two messengers and then he strengthened them with the third? Huh? Everyone knows Allah. Allah. Are you sure? Yes, everyone. Allah. Yes. Allah. Okay. So why as a two minutes ago I told you those are three messengers sent by Allah, you said to me no. What? I said to I you, said, those are three messengers sent by Allah, you said to me no. You said to me this there stand that this is message of Allah. In this tafsir, I didn't Yes, they are the message of Allah. The Quran confirmed that. The Quran talks about some issue uh, something what is happening happened and you show me a tafsir where well, I have to check if this Okay, what tafsir you like? Let, let me show you what tafsir you like. You name for one for me. Name, name no no no. I insist name a tafsir you like of your choice please. What tafsir you like? What tafsir you like? Let me get you busted life and heart. What tafsir of your choice you like me to show you for this chapter? I'm trusting anyone here. Then go. 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 Just go. See, I gave you a chance, and you keep running away. And here we go. This is a proof that Jesus is God, because if Paul is in the tafsir and Paul is in the Quran, don't call me again. You are just a kid. Let your dad call me. Bring me a scholar. I'm speaking to you in your in your standard, in your age. Maybe you are 40, 50 years old, but still you are a baby for me. So you don't know what you are talking about. You attack Paul as the rest of you donkeys who do not know that Paul is mentioned in all your books that he is a messenger of Allah. This is how donkeys, they carry books in the top of their back, but they do not know what the books is saying. You carry tafsir books in your back, but you do not know what the tafsir is saying about Paul. And when we ask you, where do you get this from? You have no idea. And you say to me, those are not the messenger of Allah, of Jesus, sorry. First of all, you said not Allah. He did not even, they are belong to Allah. Same time, we go to tafsir, all the tafsir agree that those are the messenger of Jesus. And here, by the way, this is a clear proof that Jesus is God. Because if Jesus is a messenger, he cannot make you a messenger of God. Do you agree, people? If can Muhammad make me a messenger? No, he cannot. He is a messenger. He has no authority. To make somebody a messenger, you have to be God. God only can make people messengers. People cannot make people messengers. I cannot hire you to be a messenger unless I have the authority of God, which means I am God myself who make you a messenger. And you will notice here with me that Paulus or Paul is the most powerful messenger according to the Quran, which is sent by Jesus. And not only that, it says in verse number 12 that they raise people from death. And we tell you about your future. If we go to a very famous Muslim scholar, his name is As Suyuti. What As Suyuti will say? He will say the same. So those they do miracles which is Jesus as God he gave him authority how Jesus can make me resurrect people from death if he is not God okay let us say God he sponsored Jesus he make them do miracles as Muslims they claim how Jesus can give me his authority or his power is that something we can transfer how they can resurrect people from from death the three messengers who are those three messengers and by the way, this is additional proof that Muhammad is a big fat liar because in the hadith he said, there's no messengers between me and Jesus. So who are those three? <coughs> yes, Rizikar, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, Rizikar? Okay, uh, thank you very much for answering. And I want to start in the name of Allah. I am a Muslim and I am proud of. In the name of Allah, what does that mean? Yeah, it means in the name of that entity who created all of above and all of 
all of the no, 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 no. You see, my friend, when you talk to me, focus, you know, and be careful what you say to me because it's going to be used against you in the court of law. You said in the name of Allah. What the name of Allah mean? In the name of Allah, it means in the name of the creator. This, uh, are you saying to me the word Allah mean a creator? Can you repeat it? Are you saying that the word, uh, can you mute YouTube, please? I hear myself twice. Sir, can you hear me now? Okay, I'm, I hear you. I'm saying, are you saying that the word Allah mean a creator? Allah is a name that God gave us. To okay, what him. the word Allah mean, my friend? I'm asking you, what is the word Allah? You said in the name of Allah, what Allah mean? Okay, so we have a definition for Allah in the Quran in Surah Al Ikhlas. This is not the definition I'm asking Allah, you. What Allah? This okay. is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. My friend. Okay, I, and not, I'm explaining. Not the question. No, no, you're, I, I, there's no need to explain. What is the name of Allah mean, please? Name of Allah, everyone has a name, and we have a okay. Creator. I have a name, you have as a name. Muslims, okay, okay, we okay. Have a my name is a Christian, that's mean I am a we believer in Christ. What someone, Allah mean? For example, what, what my Allah name mean? Is Rizgar, and people call me Rizgar. This is my name. What is Allah mean now? You see, we are just going in a circle for 15 minutes now. We said nothing. What Allah means? You know, this is a bullshit question because you are asking me a question. Okay, guys, be my okay. be my witness, be my witness. The guy he just said, I'm asking about Allah name. He used the word bullshit. Do you see how much Muslim they respect Allah? Listen, I am asking listen, you. Because, I'm not because, insulting your God. I'm not you insulting you. Not, I am just asking you, my friend. I'm just asking you what Allah mean. And you say to me, this is bullshit. Thank you very much. So no, I repeat the question. I repeat the question again. Away. No, we are not. You are the one is running away. What okay, Allah means? You said now, when you say to me in the name listen, of Allah, the listen, what I'm Allah mean? Basic. What Allah mean? What the word Allah mean? Okay, so listen carefully. So when when I talk, uh, everybody lets everybody listen, and then if you have any questions, let me answer the questions. So you are asking a question: What Allah means? Hmm. Why do you need to explain the meaning of Allah? Because you say you're God, Allah. So are you saying to me that you're Muslim, you worship a God, but you don't know even what his name means? We know, we know the meaning, but we don't have to know what you're asking the question. Okay, you just said we know the meaning, so give me the meaning, please. Okay. And give me a okay. reference. And give me a okay, reference I where will... we can find the meaning. Okay, I will explain. Allah, it comes from the Ila. Ila, it means... There is no God except one God. Okay, so let, let me ask you here. Just don't don't be stupid, my friend. Is that yeah, something coming is, from a scholar, or this is something? Are, this is that something you read from the inter inter Hold on, hold on. Here, here, here. We speak in academic way. Is that reference from your prophet saying that? No, you know, I'm, I'm not referring to anyone. Okay, I'm so while you are getting me an answer, is not Islamic. I want an Islamic answer. What Allah mean? Okay. So let me let me tell you, I'm not an Islamic scholar. I'm mm. just so, a Muslim. So you are calling me to be what? Belief. To be to be a watermelon? Why you are calling me? If you are not an Islamic scholar, so why you want to talk to me about Islam if you do not know Islam? Okay, because I I am here to refute you that Jesus is never God, and Quran, even Bible, doesn't say so. Mm. Okay, let us ask you here, why you are saying to me Jesus is not God, but yet you are saying to me that Allah is the Creator, right? Yes. Okay. So, isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is a creator? No. So there's only one creator in Islam. Yes. So how chapter twenty three verse number fourteen says Allah is the best of the creators? Okay. So Allah is the best of the creators. So we have creators. For example, all of us, like those scientists, they're creation. Like no, those no. This is stupid of you to say, my friend. The Quran give definition who is the creator. Creator is the one who can give a life and the Quran says it clearly those you ask for their help But yet they cannot even create a fly so in order okay. to be worshipped in Islam in order to be worshipped as God get, Where did sorry? Where did you get the definition of creator? It means those who gave life. Where did you get the definition from the Quran? Are you against the Quran? Quran doesn't say Quran doesn't say those who gave life creator It means someone who creates. Are you sure something? Yes. Okay, here we go. Let us go to the Quran and see. Chapter 22, verse number 73. Read the verse for us. I don't know because I don't have Quran with me right now. I, I don't care. Look at the screen. There. You can mute you can mute YouTube, but still you can see it. Look. Okay, let me see if I can see it. Mm. Okay, can you read it? Let me see. Okay, come on. Go ahead, read it. Where is it? It's in the screen. Is it uh, chapter 7 verse? No. Chapter right. 23, 22, verse number 73. Okay, what's, okay, where's the English? It's in the front of you. Uh, 
verse 73, right? Mm. Okay, so mankind is uh, similar to cheat his coin, so pay you heed to it. Lo, those whom you call beside Allah mm. will never create a fly, though they combine together for the purpose. Okay, so let mm. me explain this for you. Mm. So here, even, uh, even those who claim uh, like mm. associates anything with God, even mm. they cannot create a fly. Mm. So what so, is what is the point to worship God? If they cannot create a fly, you cannot worship them. So if they create a fly, they are God. Okay, who created a fly? Okay, so thank you very much. So the creator is not somebody create a table or TV. Okay. If somebody can okay. create a fly, he can oh, give yes. life. So yes. you yes. asked me yes. to give you a hold down. Don't be stupid with me. I don't like the kids. Here, the verse is so clear. That if you can't create a fly, then you can worship them. So, okay, let me ask you. You said who can create a fly? The Quran says that Jesus created from the mother bird. Okay, let me let me refer to this one. Hmm. So this is very interesting because I am more interested in your Bible, in your book, than because I want to debate you. I don't have a book. Bible. What book? Okay. We're talking about let the book of Allah. Are you are you saying the Bible is my book or the book of Allah? Okay, so first of all. That was a very good question. Please let me let me come, let me just explain what do we mean book of Allah, and then you. No, before we go to the book of Allah, you need to explain to me how Allah makes such a mistake. He compare himself to the creators if he is the only creator, unless we accept there's many creators and he is one of them and he is from the same kind. You compare so let, yourself. You compare to yourself. Okay. You compare yourself if you are from the same kind. You don't compare yourself to a human. Okay, let me explain. But you are not listening to explain. I'm listening. Go ahead. Great. First of all, when God talks about Injil and Torah in Quran, this, this is another question. This is another question. When Allah He said, "I am the best of the creators," how He compare Himself to the creators if He is not from the same kind? I don't compare between apple and a camel because apple is not a camel. To in order to compare, I have to order between an apple and an apple. So I say this okay, apple so bigger than this apple. Now. Your God Allah when he said he is the best of the creators I am I am not your brother you are a pagan person who kisses stones I'm asking you 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 when your God he says listen listen your God said I am the best of the creators talks about flying Quran this is the the tiniest thing for example God gives you if you can create a fly so this is not it means creator it means someone who gives life God give God gave this example for those who busted and they think they can create everything say okay if you can just go and create a fly mm. this is just a sample this is not something say okay god tells you mm. if you can create because i'm a creator is that the interpretation of you anything, or this is the creator. interpretation of the scholar yeah. suddenly you became a scholar now can we go to the interpretation and get you busted okay don't go to the interpretation <laughs> okay, no, okay no, hold on hold on okay no, i will let no, it go i will let it go when allah he no, said i am the best of the creators allah is comparing himself to mankind look you are going to the interpretation interpretation is i am not going path, to interpretation so i'm talking to you abdul when allah he said i am the best the shut up you are going to tafsir. listen this is tafsir tafsir is someone who who wrote this tafsir? So why? Okay, are, someone who wrote the tafsir, are, guys. Someone who wrote the tafsir. tafsir, guys. Are, someone who wrote the tafsir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for so, the information, my friend. No. Someone wrote the Quran too. Okay, so but this is not God. You know what? Everybody can write. Okay. Everybody can write. Everybody can write. Okay, hold on. What so is, is what is your what, is your what is your education? What is your education? What's my education for this? No. What is your education? You what 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 is uh, do you finish school? Do you I'm studying master's degree right now in America in California. California. That's wonderful. I have a I ha, the only degree I have is a driver license. Now I'm I'm going okay. to ask you, according to your knowledge, if somebody says I am bigger than this, can I compare myself to something is not from my kind according to language, or I have to compare myself to something from my kind? What do you mean? Can you explain? When that? I say I am the best of the creators. I can say that if we, all of us we are a human, but I cannot compare myself to to a bird, right? Okay, so for example, if I if I say if I say I am the best creator, mm. it means, for example, <coughs> what you don't have to connect the creator. It means if someone who creates something like my friend, so, I'm asking you a simple okay, question. Listen, when you listen, compare right? between when two someone, things, can God compare himself? I'm asking you, you Muslim, you say we cannot compare God to a man, yes or no? 
Of course, you cannot. Okay, so how you are saying to me, your God comparing himself to a man? A second ago, you said to me, mm -hmm. the one who created TV. So your God, Allah, he said, I is the best of the creators. Is he comparing himself to man? No. So here he says, my actions, my creation is the best of the creator. That is the best of the creation you create. For example, let's say God created human, God created live things. Mm. But when humans create a phone or when humans create anything, you cannot say I'm the best creator because always there's the best creator who is God. So that's why that's why okay so so compare. you are saying to me in Islam Allah he admit that there's many creators but he is the best of course there are many creators a creator of a car is a okay creator. A creator but, of a phone okay is a creator. okay hold on hold on hold on okay hold on so according according to you if somebody he created the car he is a creator correct to the car yes okay can you show me a verse in the Quran saying so that if somebody creates something not necessarily given life that will make him make him a creator can you show me anything support that i show you a verse saying allah saying if they create a, a fly you, you worship somebody can't even create a fly so if they can't create a fly okay you worship them then now show me something prove to me what your point is saying okay but the the, the thing is uh, those who don't believe in Quran and those who don't believe in God, they say, okay, show us in Quran. Quran is not a book of everything. Quran is the book of sign. Ah, you know, yes, sign. What I, sign? Yes. What, what do you mean okay. sign? What sign? Like what? Sign, it means miracles and what, signs. What is the miracle in the Quran? Can you show me one? For, okay. For example, when God says, when God says, <laughs> we created human, we created human according to the stage when it talks about the embryology mm. this is the sign for those who don't believe in Quran okay. so God gave this information read for me read for God. me that verse so we can love together go ahead I don't memorize I don't memorize this chapter verse, the this, same verse we are talking about Abdul what's wrong with you are you blind chapter 23 verse number 14 is the same word or the same chapter speaking about what you Muslims call the embryology so uh, uh, did your prophet say the truth there or this is God making mistakes which mistake Mist this is mistakes this is stupid the Quran says it clearly that Allah he created you from a blood from a sperm the sperm became a blood and then the blood became a, 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 a loom and then the loom became bones and then the bones we close them with flesh okay so where did you get this is mistake well, uh, uh, can you show me any scientific? As long as you said you study a master degree in California, and I like California, so can you show me any site from California from your school saying that in the stages of burial, your sperm would transform to be a dead blood, and then the dead blood became a loom, and then the loom became uh, bones, and then the bones became we closed them with the flesh. Can you show me that? If if I if I give you a name of a scholar, do you believe it or not? My friend, give me give me scientific website, not Muslim stupid website fabricating things. Is, the okay, verse in the front of me, okay. the verse okay, in the front of it. me. You see, look how hypocrite you are. When I said to you, I, let me read read. I'm, the, not, I'm not a hypocrite. Okay, so then show me have, show me what okay. science says. Show me what science says. Okay, so there's a professor. His name is Keith. More we heard about him. He did not say this is the uh, Abdul. This is a stupid story. Show me where Keith Moore he said that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood and I will make you an admin in my chat. Great, so I'll show you just a minute. Mm -hmm. But just until I will shake, let, let, let me say to all the audience, to those who listen to us. So there is a professor, the highest, the highest degree in in toronto university in canada mm -hmm. his name is keith moore yeah his and we got and we got moore. all those lies busted my friend this keith moore they invited him to saudi arabia they gave him false translation of the quran false translation of the verse and he never said what you are saying this is a mistake here okay this is a this is a muslim propaganda the guy he went to saudi arabia for 15 minutes for 15 minutes he got his check and he came back and he's he's living rich because of it now find me scientist find me scientist find me scientific have nothing to do oh shut up hold on find me find me a scientific website explaining my friend here we go show me any show me anyone will say in the world that the sperm became that the blood and then that blood became a loom and then the loop became bones. Show me. Show me even Keith Moore, like your guy. Show me he's saying that. I will love to with you. Okay. You don't have to love. Hmm. 
My friend, I have, I, I have a, I have two books re refuting those stupid lies. And Keith Moore, he never said, oh, oh, what the Muslim they say. They told him that the Quran says here like a leech. <laughs> and he said, okay, well, the, the fetus uh, became, looked like a leech. That's all. But the Quran doesn't say the word leech. The Quran doesn't say like a leech. The Quran says that the sperm transform into a congealed blood. So you did lie to Dr. Moore, gave him fast translation, and here we go. We got you. Let me let me let me read it for you. Mm. <clears throat> so here, uh, everybody, everybody who listens, there's a book by Keith Moore. Mm. Is about embryology, mm. and this is his book. So if, if you say if you say they showed him a wrong interpretation. He's a scientist. He's a doctor. My friend, he, he, don't speak, he, don't, he don't he speak Arabic. He don't, to go and check. he don't speak you Arabic. Give me, give me the link. Give me the link. I'm reading from. I will post on the screen so everybody can laugh with us. Give me the link, please. Can you give it, give it to me? Okay. But the, the thing is, I'm okay. Let me let me find you. So if if I share with you, if I share with you the link, can you can you get it? Sure. Just uh, okay. uh, give it to me in text, please. Okay. So. So this is Keith Moore is talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, nice to meet you, Keith Moore. This is the video. I can play video, my friend. So this is a video. What 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 else? No, I give see? me. No, give me. I saw it before, but we can't play it here because they would claim copyright over it. Okay, so, so you have me, to give me, me an article. Give me an article. Case, me and we it. saw this video. We saw it many times. This is chip. It doesn't say what you are saying. They told him they give him false translation that this uh, the, the, the the sperm will became will became like a, actually the word sperm disappear, and then they said the drop drop. And then became like a leech. So they took off the word sperm, they make it look like a leech, and they are they told him this is what the Quran is saying about the embryo, how the egg attached itself inside the, the womb and became a leech. But the Quran okay, why, doesn't say why that. why can't you why can't you just uh post the link I sent it to you? He is talking. My friend, my friend, we know the video, it's a stupid video, it doesn't say what you are saying. I, I told you what it says, it says like a leech. Okay, I am saying I am not. I am not a doctor. Okay, let I, me I'm ask saying, you. Okay, let, let me let, ask you. Does let, the Quran says like a leech? Okay, let me let me tell you. I'm not a doctor. I don't care. Studies. I don't I care. Say, you are the one who I mentioned say. this topic. Don't run away. I don't care. I challenge you. You said to me, Doctor Moore. Doctor Moore, he is a person. They did lie to him. They gave him false translation, and based on the translation they gave him, he was saying what he said. But it's a lie. The book in the Quran in front of us. No, not even a single Muslim translator. He translated as a leech. Can you show me one? He said leech. Okay, but you know what? Translators is not experts in. I the, don't care, my friend. Okay, can you show me interpretation? Say a leech. It say it's like, a, <laughs> right? My friend, what does it mean I do not a, need. I do a, not need. I do not need uh, for me translation. I am an Arab. This is my first language. Okay. Now let me ask you. Do you accept your prophet given interpretation for this verse or no? Of course. Okay, so you will not say your prophet is being stupid if you don't agree with him. No, you are stupid. Don't don't talk about Prophet Muhammad. I did not stupid. say he's a stupid. I said you will not say he is a stupid if I, if I of show. Of course, him. I'm not saying this. Okay, you will not say. You promise me. No, I'm not. Okay, swear by swear by fig. You will not do that. No, if you give me if you give me a hadith, swear, hadith swear by the fig, listen, swear listen. swear by the swear by the fig, you will not call your prophet a, a, a stupid. Listen to me. I am I am not an expert in hadith. Hadith, if you compare hadith to Quran, I am believing in Quran as a word, complete word of God. If well, this is what hadith, the Quran is saying. It's an agreement. It's an agreement. It's an agreement. It is an agreement with the Quran. Don't tell me I'm not an expert with the hadith. You are a Muslim. The Quran, okay, say, Islam say, say, is based say. on the hadith too. You cannot say I'm not expert. I don't care. And this is Sahih al Bukhari, and this is Sahih Muslim. So, which means it is not a lie. All right. So, read with me what, what your prophet. Do you think, read, do you read with me what your prophet. Your prophet explain the hadith for us. Explain the verse for us. So, do you know? Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Of course not. Okay. Your prophet, he said, when a drop of semen remain in the womb for forty or fifty days, or forty nights. Do you agree? Okay. Do you agree with your prophet's statement? So, hadith it means someone narrated from Prophet Muhammad, right? Listen, right or wrong? Get lost. Right? Isn't it the Quran is narrated to from the Prophet Muhammad too? 
<laughs> the hadith don't talk to me like don't talk to me like a gay what do you mean the hadith is narrated the quran is narrated too listen listen hadith is narrated by someone isn't quran. the quran narrated too quran is narrated by prophet muhammad himself from jibril the the, the angel jibril. okay who is the one who told this story to muhammad it's the same quran narrated from jibril jibril narrated to muhammad muhammad narrated to the muslim muslim they narrated the quran the hadith is the same okay so let's 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 not jump to from topics to topics you are okay you are the one who mentioned to me okay, listen, science not listen. me it's you who mentioned to me the science of the quran i'm asking you is it accurate when your prophet he said that the sperm stay alive inside the womb literally in the womb of the woman for 40 or 50 days is that a stupid or a smart okay continue i'm asking you stay with with this one first do you agree that the sperm stay alive inside the womb for 40 days or 50 days i'm not a doctor I agree. I don't care if you are a doctor or not. A second ago, you were expert with Dr. Moore. I, you can right, go right now and search in Google and tell me how long the sperm live. According to science, sperm live for five days. Okay, so let's 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 in a very brief way. Just I want to say, so I, I you told me okay, brief me scientific things in Quran, and I told you there is one of the doctor you can refer to whoever is. Just get lost. We take a doctor or your prophet. Dr. Muhammad is higher. He have a PhD from Allah. You Muslim, you call me to get spanked and I spank you with no mercy, even though I try to be nice to you as much as I can. I am not an expert. I am not a doctor. So why you are, you are mentioning to me about the embryo if you are not a doctor? Why you open your mouth about something you do not know? Suddenly you don't want to talk about it. We asked you, show us where Dr. Moore, he said, you give me a video. The video is saying that he said, to, they said to him, they gave him false translation, that this is a drop is going to become like a leech. But the Quran saying, this is a drop of his pearl. Uh, they exposed the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is not as they want not politically correct being politically politically correct is an illness is a weakness is somebody is hiding something they've been forced to say something so if you are a christian say things as it is Yes, we love the Muslims, but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell. Loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims. It's not the opposite. So when somebody, he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure.